It's Quinn here with PTSD Wild Black, and I'm having some realizations as I'm starting to use my body again and be accustomed to the pain that I feel in my shoulders and my neck and my spine. Um, I'm starting to realize some stuff. Because of the concussion, like doing choreography and dancing is really difficult for me uh, because I have to interpret you know, which hand is moving, which, which da, 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 da. So <laughs> I'm learning to do like Zumba routines right now, um, which are pretty repetitive so that I can kind of, um, don't, I have less to memorize. I have less to memorize and it's easier to follow the directions. But I just noticed like these feelings were coming up for me as I'm like searching for routines. I was searching for death metal routines to see if anybody had ever done it or, um, yeah, modern songs that I find very motivational to see if there were any routines for those. And I realized there's a part of me that's kind of sad that I can't dance the way I used to. Because in my 20s, I would dance up a storm. When I was a kid, I would dance around the living room. Um, and in my own apartment, when I lived alone, I would be dancing in my bedroom. But what's up? Um, now with these injuries, I realize... With the physical injuries, dancing is a little bit limited. But now with the, the um, concussion injuries, dancing's really challenging because I have problems with direction. And so if I were to talk while dancing, like if I was giving some kind of instruction video while dancing, telling you to go on your left, your right, or whatever, I would probably have a seizure or some shit. I don't know. Um, so I'm just recognizing that I, uh, my responsibility for me to continue to move no matter what means um, if I have to eliminate the brain for a while because there's confusion with left, right, then sit down and still move as much as you possibly can or forgive yourself as much as you possibly can if you repeat the step on the left when it was supposed to be on the right. That's some of the stuff that um, I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of grace instead of trying to do things perfectly. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just dealing with, I realize... My PTSD, because it's there and it sets the tone for how I'm relating with the world and my own body. I have PTSD around dancing, choreography, moving my body because I had a seizure once at physical therapy many years ago because I couldn't understand left, right, arm, leg, what? And it was like, pfft, my brain was gone. Um, and so I realized I've built some trauma around working out my body. Plus... Um, when I was at the height of my seizures, I was still trying to exercise, trying to walk or what have you. And I spent a good two years of just not because I was afraid of with the seizures I was having, the more pain my body was in, the more confusion I had and pain and confusion together would trigger the seizures. And so now I'm having to give myself a little bit of, of grace with it. So I'm learning like my new superpowers with these, um, body limitations that I have at the moment that, okay, so you know, your brain's going to do this and you know that pain's going to be a factor. So take Tylenol before working out. Um, if your back starts hurting, have a seat and still commit to moving for the full 20 to 30 minutes that, that you're trying to get a workout for. Um, and then I'm learning to close the door because my husband will walk past the door a thousand and one times and I realize like when I'm uh, emotionally paying attention to other people, that's also taking away from me and that can add to the brain confusion. So I'm like learning these little bitty things to help me um, be able to move forward and love my body as it is. And I was just trying a couple of routines right now and my shoulders like ha ha and that's okay that's the other thing that i'm learning too is that i need to give myself a day off um between intense workouts and there's no shame there's no judgment or blame that i have to place on myself because oh i needed to sit this day out like this week i'm having headaches so I know I need to be a little gentler with myself this week instead of my old attitude of shame and blame going, oh, your body can't do what it used to be able to do, blah, 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 blah. I beat myself up for like the last four years and that's not helped. So now I need to have 
some radical love, radical compassion, um, acceptance and joy in this body that I've got. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm working towards. And I would totally love that, um, maybe in the next year to be able to be, I'll be the creator of Zumba workouts for heavy set people, um, that are to metal music or <laughs> to show tunes to the entire musical rent. We will make Zumba routines <laughs> because that's what my brain works like. Um, yeah, who knows? Who knows what next year will be like? But I, I just want to be more, um, more of myself, of who I was before I was injured, and have grace and not compare who I am now with the injuries to who I was then, but still embrace these parts of myself that I love to dance, I love to sing, and that I can be committed to moving on a regular basis, even if. Um, it's not as, as frequent as I would have liked. So yeah, that's where I am today, but I'm feeling, still feeling kind of hopeful and excited. All right. Till next time. Peace.